Hey, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Resurrection, the fifth DLC so far in the Deadlock series, marking Season 2. I'm going back through the entire campaign and playing it on Admiral, which is the hardest level you can possibly do, uh, with veterancy turned on. So let's take a look at Mission 3, Phallus, and get some context. This is going to involve an entire Protect the Transport oh, mission, no doubt. We've got an emergency playing out on Palace, and Galactica needs to go be their hero. Mr. Singh will bring you up to speed. Multiple explosions were detected across the surface of Palace roughly six hours ago. Since then, over half of their pump stations have gone offline. The cause hasn't yet been confirmed, but safe money is on sabotage by the toasters. The Palace domes have purifier contingencies for at least another 24 hours. That's some leeway before it gets real apocalypse down there. We're escorting a full staff of first responders and we'll be ready to jump as soon as Lieutenant Cottle has joined us. Right, so I thought I'd do the FMV sequence for this first, to be perfectly honest. Um, I did complete the mission first time this time on Admiral. Didn't do it first time, however, on Commander. Uh, it took me a little bit of a while, but then again, you could say, well, you're still getting used to things. So lots of Vipers involved, um, getting the big ships in, lots of protection against the ships that are going to reveal themselves, such as base stars and, you know, other missile boat type ships as well, which are going to come in. The idea of this is to protect the three medical transports uh, with Doc Cottle, good old Doc Cottle, not a major but a lieutenant at that point in time, and we all know him as Galactica's chief medical officer. I'm very squadron heavy here. I've got my my squadron carrier with three squadrons in it. Got the Galactica, of course, with four squadrons in it, and I've got the Artemis as well. Now, big old flak screens are very important here. You're going to get an awful lot of missiles coming in. We can see this here. I'm taking out some of the nemesis type craft as well torpedoes going towards galactica using good use of galactica's flak screens and then using the minotaur gunboat to get in there and engage the base star the cylon base star that reveals itself in all initially i thought this was a really difficult mission i really struggled with this four or five times i played it on commander under Admiral, and then again I probably have the experience of playing the entire campaign through, I found it to be a little bit easier, um, or whether I got my strategy home just about right. I think it's very important to have squadrons here. Missiles, like all of these um, missions, win the game from a long distance. So all in all, a good third mission from the entire 10 mission campaign. Voice acted as well. But like you see with the FMV sequence, you can get some really good shots coming in here and sort of does take you right into the middle of the action. Did I incur much damage? Well, no, no, I didn't really. And that was fortunate for me because I'm still building veterancy. There is one thing with the game, however, though, that I do find needs a bit of attention. is all the raider squadrons that are left once you destroy a capital ship. I still think you should be able to or have to continue to clean up those particular raiders. Now you can see my entire fleet now engaging the last remaining base star. Push the line. I've got an adamant class rocking in there, giving it the benefit of all the heat-seeking long-range materials and all the fighters and raptors are going in there as well. Base stars launching. It's last a death last ditch effort hope to launch against one of my adamants which it took out so I did lose one frigate but all in all not so bad so how did I get that FMV sequence well as you can see I've got a Atlas carrier I've got a Artemis Battlestar and a Jupiter Mark II, of course, the Galactica, a frigate and a Minotaur. So I've got the ability to launch quite a lot of air support and air cover, fighter squadrons, you name it. I have augmented on the Galactica one of my squadrons to be an Assault Raptor squadron. And I get the 
best of both worlds really i've got two raptor squadrons not only one from the galactica but also one from the atlas carrier and also then an assault raptor squadron as well coming out of galactica this i found works best for me so we're going to jump our ships in and uh, see how things go now there's a little bit of voice acting as well i'm going to be quiet for as the ships jump in and we get a little bit of in-game context from our watch officer and Cottle. Yeah. That's positive that those were the ones. We've done this before, Commander. I'm not here to hold your hand. I need those response ships to break sky in 15 minutes before people start dying. What's the hurry? Palace Core Control says we've still got 20 hours before the domes are compromised. For total habitat failure, sure. Except those domes are springing leaks every minute, and I can guarantee you the Palladians do not have a pressure suit for every city down there. You ever suffer from hypoxia, kid? I don't think you're that much older than that. Low oxygen starts with nausea or a bit of numbness. Maybe your arm starts to spasm, or you get a cluster. Again, you got the raspy old voice of Cottle ticking people off, body pressure starts to bringing rise. things into context. When your environment pressure is dropping, the suit shortage down there ends with people's sweat literally boiling off their skin. And in short, all he wants to do is get down there and save those people. Doesn't care how he does it, just get it done quick. Quite easy. So if you haven't done so, do me a favour. Hit that like and subscribe button if you like what you're seeing so far and want to see more Battlestar Galactica Deadlock videos. Stick that in the comments and check out the notification icon as well. So, how did I get to that wonderful FMV sequence? Well, despite this huge Cylon effort, I only managed to lose one frigate. And that was right at the last moment as well, where that last Cylon baster fired his torpedoes or missiles or ordnance, we'll call it, uh, and did that. Well, here we go. So first off I did is I started moving the corp transports, the medical transports, off into the middle of the screen. Got two frigates on the left-hand side, turning to engage that particular flank. I've got the Atlas carrier and the Minotaur off to the right flank. And now I've also got um, my two battle stars going straight down the middle to the mission marker. We've got our squadrons in the air. We're gonna start moving them out. So they start engaging some ships when they jump in up to the top left-hand side of the screen. And we're gonna let our big ships uh, deal with the capital ships that are inevitably going to jump in. Now, as you go through this mission, you can see the level of failure, habitat failure level, um, rising per turn and per time you take. Typically, you've got about 15 minutes to complete this. I managed to get it done in well under that, um, providing you've got the right loadout of ships, You've got the right number of ships in your fleet as well. And you don't go into this mission short-handed. Your losses are indeed going to be minimal. So moving the fighters off um, to a safe area. So that when we start bringing our flak screens up, when the Cylons do jump in, and they're going to jump in, we know they're going to jump in. Um, you know, they're out of the way and we're not going to incur too many fighter losses. So we see our two adamant frigates. Moving off now to get into a good area, ready to engage any Cylons that come in. And here they come, they're jumping in. Three at the top of the screen, two over to the right. Looks like your bet was right, Mr. Singh. Round in the support ships. They aren't risking atmospheric entry while we have bogies in the area. Time to engage and flush them out. Okay. All in all as well, we also have to defend those medical transports. Time to get a flak screen going from Galactica because the first thing these things are going to do is going to start firing um, ordnance at us. Also, I'm going to get the flak going from the Adamant class Battlestar as well to the right. Flak from the Galactica to the left. And we can see what we can disperse when they do start firing their ordnance. Our fighter squadron ready to start engaging let's move them over and get them selected at some of those targets a nemesis not too bothered about that we can take him out with some of the guns from the adamant and the fighter squadron as well two nemesis strike class on the left hand side 
we're okay with that. Flak screen from Galactica hopefully is going to disperse those missiles coming from the unveiled, unveiled Cylon ships to the center of the screen. The flak screen from the Adamant not going to block those missiles uh, going towards the Atlas. But the good thing about the Atlas is, as it's a carrier, it's a really heavily armed craft. So, it's going to be about guns and it's going to be about missiles. The initial salvo has gone off. We're going to get that flak cancelled. We're going to start positioning our ships so the guns from these heavier ships now can start taking out that base star and that revenant. So, we're going to focus our fire so when that moves into play we can then we maneuver ourselves. Quick little look down at the transport ships to make sure they're not getting any grief and make sure our fighter squadrons are also in play. Now we've got long range missiles on the adamant frigates. Got to make sure we use those as well. Make sure we've got the turrets in play. The turrets as well are going to cause a hell of a lot of damage along with our fighter screen. We can virtually forget about all that on the left hand side and concentrate what's going on with the bigger ships. Again, more missiles coming in uh, towards Galactica. Our flak screen's going to take care of those. One or two may get through. Yeah, so far so good. One got through. Uh, and that's not so bad from a barrage of missiles like this. Our big door knocker guns are engaging uh, towards the base star. We're going to try and slow down that, that minotaur as well. So we get a bit more time for its guns to keep lashing the top yes, of that base star. And then... Just manoeuvring that Atlas class to a point where we can use its side, its broadside guns to give us some additional firepower. So say we are. We're going to leave one of those Nemesis to the squadrons. Make sure they're all targeted. And then we're going to be in hot pursuit of the other Nemesis. That's moving off then to engage our main group of capital ships. So the level's moving up, the threat level's moving up to, to 16 now for habit, habitat failure. We've got to get this shut down and shut down quick. Still more missiles coming in um, from the Cylons that have yet to reveal themselves. The Artemis, we're going to start engaging that with missiles now. Um, we're going to get that base star taken out as quickly as we possibly can while still providing a good defensive screen so we don't get taken out by that other missile salvo that's coming in okay so ships are now coming into the range of our atlas which has got some pretty good guns to be fair they can certainly make a nuisance out of things torpedoes coming in being deflected by the flak screen as well Our fighter craft coming in to take take that nemesis out, as well as the frigates. Base star is down. The adamant's guns, the minotaur's guns as well have taken taken the damage directly to them. We're going to swing the minotaur around, go after that particular um, arachne. So say we are. And then with the best of our ability, we're going to start taking out some of the other ships. So it took a big hit to engineering on that Minotaur there. So we're going to get that subsystem fixed. Galactica is still fending off missile attacks. Gonna get that Raptor Squadron engaged. See if we can't take them out as quick as we like. Of course, the frigate type Adamant class ships much quicker than the big cumbersome old battle stars. A little bit of adjustment now with our fighter screen as well, with uh, protecting our core transports. Trying to make sure nothing comes through. Nothing, nothing comes to spoil this mission. The 24% of habitat failure now. Gonna to gotta to shut this down as quickly as possible. Only a few Cylons left. Again, like I say, the base star's out of action now. The Arachne is firing missiles. The Atlas 
is giving it some of the guns. We've got guns coming in from the Minotaur, guns coming in, um, volleys coming in from the other bat base stars, battle stars. Let's take that guy out. Good stuff so far. As the Galactica is close to that nemesis, we're going to try and use some of its guns to take that out as well. Okay, end turn. There's that Arachne's gone. Nemesis, gone. More pressure from Cottle to get down there and start saving lives. So say we all. Okay, so with those ships gone now, at the bottom of the screen, we can start turning our guns and turrets against the remaining Cylon vessels. So our two frigates, no doubt, will be able to take out those Cylons there. I'm on it, Commander. Getting our Raptors in play, which are great punchy little craft. They can really make a mess of a Cylon, a Cylon strike group. Nemesis is down. More missiles coming into Galactica. Flak screens taking them out. Okay, so far so good. Fire a missile now towards that remaining Cylon ship there. Let's take him out. Get him right out of the equation. Maneuver the Artemis round to the side of the Galactica so we can start bringing the big guns to bear on the top ship, which we know from the FMV sequence is going to be a base star. So far... We haven't lost many planes. That's good. Is taking damage. Not today. And again, you know, the multi-selection of units that came with the Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Command Update for Resurrection really speeds these missions up. Think about how it was back season one before any of this these quality of life updates hit. Um, you know, these command updates really are doing something to enhance the game as the game evolves across its DLC. And now we're in season two. All that aside, you had to manage each individual ship, which was painstaking. It didn't make it go very good. Now, whether it's to alleviate some stress from the console players, and it's released on Xbox and PS4 now. Deadlock Resurrection, that is. Um, or whether it's just to benefit all players. But I think even PC players benefit from this. So we're all swinging round and pointing in the right direction. Some of our civilian ships are taking a little bit of a beating. We're going to make sure any missiles that come in swing past us. Flank speed then towards that base star. Let's recall some Raptors. Get them rearmed, and if we needed to, we can get them back into the fight. Cylon Raiders are attacking the civilian transport ships, but we've got a fighter screen there to sort that out. We're going to swing the Atlas round just in case. A big, slow, lumbering hulk, but well-armoured carrier of ships. So then to start focusing fire on that base there. Of course, our Adam frigates are going to get there first. 
Launch some more raptors, get them back into theater. Let's make sure that, you know, they can then start launching their munitions directly at that Cylon threat. Adamant's taken heavy beating. It was the vanguard of this entire part of the battle group to get in there, so I'm expecting it to take a heavy beating. It's doing its job. It's going to start laying some missile fire now against that base star. Boosting thrusters, getting our ships into closer range so we can then bring them into the fight. It's not going to be long now. That base star is going to be history. We're going to move the adamant off in a vain attempt to try and keep it in the game. Base has taken a pounding. It's not just the missiles though, it's going to be the guns. Not really much else left to do on this mission. It's going to be a success and we've managed to get it that only 42% of habitat failure uh, is actually in play. Base star has gone. Good stuff now for Cottle to get down with his medical core and save those people. And it's going to be an indirect attack by people using bio-warfare. I hope you're wrong, Doctor. Battlestar armor is redundant if they use our air to kill Burn the air and not use bullets. Well, thanks very much for watching. I've been Ricardo. Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Resurrection. Mission 3 on Admiral, this has been. Let's go through that FMV sequence. I'm not going to rabbit all through it. So say we all. Enjoy the sequence and check out for more videos in the series. I need flap reload now. Escort clear zone intact. Charge one, stay back. Escort clear zone is active. Keep that black wall up. Firing a target. Firing solution is online. Target is 83 by 88. Breaking. Push the line. That got a little messy. Clean up order received. Rally on me. 